Welcome to York vs Air Peninsula. This episode we're starting in Wallaroo, which is the northwest of the York Peninsula and it's our first time here and we're going to explore kind of both sides of the coast and get right down to the bottom to Marion Bay. So yeah, it should be a good little uh, episode and kind of probably spend about a week around here. And a bit of a comparison for us too because on our first lap we did air but we haven't done York yet so we're pretty keen to see what the sort of difference is between the two. Yeah, and we'll do obviously this video on the York and then um, in a couple of weeks we'll be on the air. So uh, we'll kind of do both videos and we can kind of compare the both for you and um, show you all the good spots. guys so this morning we left uh, Wallaroo Caravan Park that was really nice we um, had ocean views there and then we've made our way to our first night on the York Peninsula yeah so we are at, uh, near Tapara Rocks uh, campground and about kind of five minutes from Balgowan so probably about kind of 45 minute drive from Wallaroo yeah, it wasn't long. Uh, not too far and kind of few dirt roads but yeah awesome camp uh we're hiding behind the caravan now because it's a little bit windy uh but you'll uh, see some footage of the where we're staying it's pretty cool Now our favourite part of the day where we get to put on the tunes, sit back, have a cold beer and watch the sun go down. We were treated extra special tonight as we got to watch the cliffs glow as well. Morning guys, woken up at Tapara Rocks and it's a beautiful, calm and sunny morning. And we woke up this morning and we saw dolphins swimming in the shallows uh, looking for some food. And we're cooking up some bacon and eggs and mushrooms and tomatoes. 
and gonna go for a fish soon and uh, yeah, it should be a good day. Guys, so we left Tapara Rocks uh, this morning after a beautiful morning there, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, it's got a little bit cloudy and uh, windy uh, later in the day. But uh, we've just yeah. got to Waralti Beach, I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, so it's supposed to clear up this afternoon, but we'll just go for another walk and probably another fish and just yeah, relax really. And as you can see, we're actually camped on the beach, um, and it's yeah. free camping because it's Crown land. Uh, where up on the dunes you've got to pay 20 bucks and uh, you got a couple of views from some sites but you yeah. kind of tucked away and you can't really see the beach so yeah we just thought while we can camp on the beach because it's not very often you can yeah and um, we've just faced the van to block the wind yeah. um, but yeah hopefully it clears up and it's a beautiful spot <laughs> have another perfect day which is so awesome um, and we've j basically just had brekkie and been playing with the dogs down at the water Lockie's been having a bit of a fish <laughs> trying to fish um, meant to be good squid and um, whiting and stuff down here but yeah not having any luck at the moment um, but anyway <laughs> we'll, we'll keep trying and uh, yeah we're just packing up um, from Waralti Beach and we're gonna keep heading south kind of make our way eventually down to Marion Bay but I think tonight we're going to stay at another camp before there and uh, yeah uh, should be another good day. <laughs> Alright, so we've just made it to Flahardy Beach. Uh, we're just going to have lunch here and check it out as it's meant to be a nice beach. Yeah, unfortunately it's kind of known for at low tide having all these sandbanks and looking pretty cool. We're kind of like right in the middle of low and high so um, it still looks nice but I think low tide is when it really is good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, going to have some lunch here and then we're going to head to Burners uh, Beach I think it is for camp tonight which is probably another half an hour from here. So yeah. Hey guys, so we've made it to Burners Beach campsite and there's two different sides. There's one that's got toilets and bins, which is a kind of non-self-contained, uh, which is a little bit um, busy at the moment. So we're at the self-contained area and there's no one here. And it's actually nicer too because the wind's on that side of the headland. And uh, yeah, we've set up camp, uh, going for a walk on the beach and just wanted to show you too, we're about to crack an Arvo beer. And the pluggers thongs that we have um, actually have a beer opener in them. So if you've got a non-screw top, cheers. guys 
guys, so we're all packed up and we're leaving Berners Beach now. We had a really good stay. It was just us on um, the self-contained site, so that was nice. Yeah, and uh, today we're going to head to Berry Bay South, which is a nice little beach. Uh, meant to spot dolphins there, uh, so see if we can get lucky. And then we're probably going to camp at Daily Head Campsite tonight. Good boy, up. So we checked out uh, Berry Bay South um, and yeah, it's really nice there, but there is kind of a surf school happening there. Yeah. So it's a bit busy, so we didn't go down to the beach, but um, yeah, we got a film from the top and we thought whilst we were here, we'd check out Gravel Bay Campground, which is another campground kind of on the southwest uh, of the York. And it's meant to have this awesome camp spot, which we actually snagged because it's a Monday and pretty quiet. And it's so, like right at the top of the cliff. Yeah. It's so only sort of one. We'll insert some of... videos of the view, but it's pretty unreal. So we might yeah. just stay here rather than daily head. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, and we also, we just came down to the bay and had just going for a walk with the dogs. And we just saw this pod of dolphins like jumping out of the way. It was pretty yeah. cool. We've never seen something like and that. And then we went to get our phones and yeah. um, they'd kind of <laughs> gone down. So we, we couldn't get them. them. But it was um, an awesome thing to see, kind of them jumping through the waves, nearly like, I don't know, 10 metres away from us. Yeah. So, yeah. We've got the fire cranking, so we thought we may as well do a camp oven dish. So we've got sweet potato, a little bit of red onion, bacon, and we're just going to make sort of a potato bake in the camp oven. So you just have to throw all your ingredients in the pot, which we'll show you at the end. And we're also going to have beef schnitzels with that one. So we're just doing sort of like a lasagna, just layer by layer. Um, so I've just made a flat layer and then I've put all the ingredients on and then we're just going to repeat that step until you run out of potato. just packed up the caravan um, and we had an awesome stay here at Gravel Bay um, and yeah as you would have seen we got this top campsite which was just amazing views 
Yeah, um, I reckon it's yeah probably one of the best camps we've been to. Yeah. Um, you can kind of camp down near the beach too, but you got to be full wheel drive because you got to drive on soft sand. It's a bit hard to turn around with a van. Yeah. Um, but I have seen people do it. But up here, I think it's a bit better if you got good conditions because you got an awesome view and you can still walk down to the beach. Um, but yeah, we are going to head down to Marion Bay today and check out kind of Innes National Park. So stay tuned for what we get up to there, but looks like another good day. Marion Bay and uh, we're out of water. So we're down here at a desalination plant and it's where they convert salt water into fresh water. And so we're here and it pretty much gives you three, $3.43 per kilolitre, I think which um, you pay a dollar and you get like two or three hundred litres. So it's pretty cheap. So after we filled up, we decided to go north and we made it to Yorktown. We're just on our way to look at some pink lakes. Yeah, um, and uh, yeah, there's kind of a few different salt lakes and stuff, but there's been one yeah. pretty pink lake we're just rolling up to now. And uh, yeah, then we're gonna find camp somewhere near here for tonight. Bush campground now, which is uh, kind of five minutes from Ardrossan. So we're up on the kind of east coast of the York now. So we're going to stay here the night. Uh, we were going to stay down further south, but there weren't any other good camps. We checked out a couple and um, we didn't yeah. want to stay at a caravan park either. There is a few caravan parks along yeah. the way. Yeah, on the east side, there's a few more caravan parks, but we thought, oh, no, nah, whilst we filled up with water and got enough um, power and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, we're um, going to stay here and then I think tomorrow we're probably going to head up to Port Broughton, uh, which is up above Kadena, kind of where we started. Um, and that will pretty much end the York. Um, so hopefully I can do a bit of fishing maybe here and <laughs> up there and hopefully catch something. Um, but yeah. Alright guys, so we left Ardrossan this morning and uh, got up and watched the sunrise which was awesome because we were on the east side of the peninsula. So yeah, it was a really nice sunrise this morning. And uh, we're now at Port Broughton. Yeah, so we got a, um, we're just in the caravan park tonight, just filling back up with power and a few things. Um, and yeah, we've got a waterfront site. So our caravan's literally right behind us and we're just taking the dogs down to the beach now um, and might go to the jetty later this afternoon. Yeah, it's meant fish. to be yeah good fishing here. So I'll try my luck again. <laughs> and um, Monique was saying there's also a local friendly dolphin yeah, that hangs around. So, There's supposed to be a dolphin that hangs around, so fingers crossed we can try find him. But yeah, and this will pretty much end our um, York Peninsula travels too, so it's been an awesome kind of week we've spent around yeah, here. Yeah, it's been very, really good actually. I wasn't, we weren't really sure what to expect with it, but um, uh, it's definitely one to add to your bucket list if you're heading down to South Australia. It's an awesome little week um, that you can spend there, so yeah. Good morning guys, we woke up at Port Broughton and we went into town to the local bakery and got some toasties and a coffee, which was really nice, and then went for a walk with the dogs along kind of the foreshore there. Yep, and next 
next week we will be hitting Flinders Ranges so stay tuned for that video and we hope you enjoyed York.